Welcome back to Mr. Moore PE. We're going to talk uh, about the key cardiovascular terms. So just to clarify, the cardiovascular system, we're talking about the heart and lungs. And an exercise that's super important because obviously if we're a cardiac athlete, if we're doing endurance events like running, cycling, swimming, cross-country skiing, we need to have a really effective cardiovascular system. So we're going to talk about stroke volume today and we're going to talk about uh, heart rate, which we've kind of talked about in the vid uh, video previous to this. We're also going to talk about cardiac output. So they're going to be the three big terms that we're going to introduce today. And then once we've spoken about those, we're going to do a little equation to work to, to sort of show you how we can work out our cardiac output. So first, first of all, um, stroke volume is the volume of blood that's pumped out from the left ventricle per beat. So here's the left ventricle. And you can see a diagram here also of the heart. And it's the volume of blood, the amount of blood pumped out of that left ventricle per beat. So that's the definition that you need to know for stroke volume. Next up, we're going to look at a definition for cardiac output. But before we do that, it's probably worth us knowing a little bit about the ventricles, what they are. So here's a ventricle. And ventricles expel blood received from the atrium. So that's what they do. That's kind of A-level, but it's useful to know. So next up, we're going to talk about this term, cardiac output. So cardiac output. Cardiac output is the amount of blood pumped from the heart every single minute. So, so stroke volume is per beat, whereas cardiac output is per minute. It's that output. If you output something, you give something out in like large volumes. All right. So why is that important? Well, we need to know how much blood we get out per minute in order to be able to measure our fitness in response to sort of the body's demands of fitness in the environment and the kind of context and the sports of which we're doing. So there's a concise definition for stroke volume and there's also another one for cardiac output. Make sure you pause those and write those down. They are key, key terms. But also you need to know the equation on how to work this out. So we're going to draw this up on the board now. So let's start with CO cardiac output and another term that you might get for cardiac output sometimes is Q. Okay, so cardiac output equals stroke volume times heart rate or heart rate versus stroke volume, it doesn't really matter. Okay, so this is what we're trying to calculate but before we work this bit out we need to work out what this is. But we also measure blood in certain ways. Okay, so we've got our BPMs, so let's say that our, um, let's say that our athlete has a resting heart rate of 70 BPM. So that's our, that's our heart rate, okay? And let's say they have a stroke volume of 75, for example. So in order to work out cardiac output, what we here do is we do, or what we, what we do here, I should say, is we do 70 times 75, okay? So there's our basic calculation using these numbers. And if you get this in a test, they'll give you the numbers to work with. So here's the equation. Here's an example of how we might use the equation. So cardiac output, equals 70 BPMs times 75 stroke volume, and that's milliliters per beat. So that's a really key term, because in a minute we're gonna convert the milliliters to liters. So this stroke volume is measured in milliliters, and it's important that you know that as well. So in this equation, if we do this, we get 5,000, let me just think about the maths, 70 times 75, 5,250. That's how many milliliters we have, 5,250. But obviously we want to represent that in liters, so we'll just round that up to 5.25 liters. So that ends up being the cardiac output from this equation. So that's why it's important to know that. 